Lots of energy to start. Yeah. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Sam. I'm Ryan. This is Sam and Ryan. Look at us go. Aptly named. I've probably made that joke too many times. We say that channel. like every fifth video. Ah, dang it. Yeah. But maybe they're new. Maybe they've never heard Aptly that. Aptly named is also one of my favorite observations to make about things. Like, so you definitely named. stole that from me. A full Aptly name. named. Aptly named. We're becoming each other. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing Drinking. a ask me anything, but with each question, we drink a little bit. Remember the intelligent drinking game? It's yeah. basically that, but you sourced, you, we got the questions from, from you guys. You. Uh, yeah, and it's gonna be a fun time. We are going to ramp up in um, hmm. fervor, seriosity, I intensity? Was, yeah, that's what I was going for. Like the questions are gonna get more intense as we go along because naturally our inhibitions will be lower. Lord, you didn't like seriosity? I thought that was a nice word I made up. I, it wasn't what I was looking for. But it's so funny. <laughs> Just made up words. Aren't they all? Whoa. That's a thinker, that's a thinker. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's start off nice and easy, okay? Yeah. Okay? Okay, let's do mine. First up. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, that was such a fun noise. I mean, I don't even know her name. Disrespectful. Yeah. Kristen something. She was in Smallville. She played um, whoever Superman's girlfriend is. Didn't Torrance work with her? Torrance worked with her? Is she the one that ended up being in the cult? Do you want to Google it or just put up a photo here for them? in a sex cult? Can I go on this? Yeah, I mean, she's talked about it okay. and she's out of it now okay. and everything. But yeah, your uh, childhood crush kind of had quite the journey. Poor thing. You know Mine. who my sex was? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, she's also had a journey. So wow. maybe I'm attracted to <laughs> I can't say that. No, I can't say that. No. Oh, that's funny though. Who's your crush? Sam and Dean Winchester. I started watching Supernatural when I was like nine years old. Those two men, everything was new for me. Everything was new for me after watching Supernatural. Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles. Everything, everything was, was new. new for me. And God said, let there be light. What a sentence. <laughs> Everything was new for me. I was just like, could mean oh my so gosh. many things. That's so brilliant. I, I, it just, I, it was, it was a, a lot for me. And I'm, I'm finally approaching the end of my supernatural binge. There are 15 seasons. Can you blame me? That Jack Sparrow was another like celebrity crush, Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I think that was my second one. Yeah. Wait. Who did I just say my You said Lindsay course? Lohan. What's my your third one. one your third one. Wait, which, come, which came out first? The Smallville. No, Lake. yes, but Mean Girls or Captain Jack Sparrow? Probably Captain Jack Sparrow. So maybe Lindsay was my third. I don't know. I don't either. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, Sam and Dean Winchester. Next question. More. True or false? If they wanted to, they would. If you don't know what Maddie is referring to, <laughs> you're <there's> stupid. <laughs> no. There is a very popular <laughs> phrase going around uh. on TikTok where someone shares something nice that their partner did for them, and they're typically like, ladies, if he wanted to, he would. Do I agree with that as a general statement? I think so. Yeah, I, I think we it, do it's, what we want. Yeah, we do what we wanna do. If someone wants to buy you flowers, they are going to buy you flowers. Now, here's my big preface or disclaimer with this statement. That is an unfair expectation to hold if you don't communicate it. So you need to communicate whatever you want your partner to do in your relationship, not just hold a quiet expectation of, well, if they wanted to, they would, and not communicate anything. Yeah. That's where this falls flat to me because I just see people dismissing things on the internet being like, oh, well, if he wanted to, he would. And it's like, well, have you let them know that you want that? If you have high expectations and you just keep dating like 
losers who don't meet them, that's definitely a them problem. Mm -hmm. But if you expect your partner to be psychic and know all of your desires mm -hmm. and then blame it on their wants as an individual when they can't surprise you with everything that you're holding in the silence of your mind and heart, then you're mm -hmm. the problem. People give and receive love in different ways. That's why dating is a thing because you're not always gonna find a good match of giving and receiving love. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> One more question. All right. And then there are a, additional questions ones. after that. Woo! Getting ever so slightly into some controversy, but it's not controversial because I'm not gonna name names. What's the worst piece of direction you've ever gotten on or backstage? Not a question for me. Actually, when I was in middle school... All right, no, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. No, no, no. I'll go ahead. What was... In middle school, did you get some bad direction? Uh, no, I was just making a joke just because... stand clear. in the back, Samantha. You'll be fine. Ah! Ah! I will say... You I... were Cinderella's mom. No. I, anytime I was in the ensemble, I was always in the front. And I was always the example student oh, you and performer I'm not surprised where everyone that. would always say, okay, hey, everyone, look at what Samantha's doing. Do that. Yeah. Super unhealthy direction choice, but it's probably because you were shining. Well, not enough, apparently. Well, shining, you know, in the ensemble. That's <laughs> where I shine best. Uh, I wouldn't know what that's like. What's the worst piece of direction I've ever gotten on her? How, how am I likable? How does anyone like me? I love we you. are You're so funny. hemorrhaging followers. Everyone hates me. No, I can't even my goodness, imagine this is taking quite the turn. Why in my life. anyone would care about what I have to say? What's the worst piece of direction you've ever gotten on stage or backstage? I had a director, and I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to say where, but this was an, like a highly professional. <laughs> Like big deal production. And I had a director say to me, literally, Ryan, 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 it's not this, it's this. It what? <laughs> what does that mean? That we are all trained actors, trained actors with experience telling stories, and your job is to focus our intentions towards a common goal within the parameters of the storytelling, and the best thing you can give me is it's not this, it's this. I need adjectives, I need verbs, I need nouns. Like, I don't even know what line you're talking about. What you was haven't this? given me text, you haven't given me context. All you have said to me is it, what is it? is not this, what is this? It's this, what is this? Cheers, we have opened a new drink. Yep. We are ready to answer more of your questions. We didn't start drinking before These we started filming this video. Semitic questions. Uh -uh. No, hey, you know, we are giving you what you want. Aren't we? Aren't we? Don't you love it? Please subscribe. Straight to the point, weed yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, I have, I have no no's about it. I mean, I have nose about it. I have nose about it in the same way I have nose about this. It's illegal to consume it underage, so don't. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Weed is illegal to consume under a certain age, so It's don't. illegal in some states, yes, so and don't. if it's illegal yeah. there, don't use it. And another note, too, is like this, weed, any chemical we're talking about, it doesn't affect people the same way. Exactly. There's no one size fits all. So like, mm -hmm. I fully recognize that there are some people that weed is like an absolute no for them, whether that's mm -hmm. culturally, Medically, yep. it's it, based on experience because they've tried it and they had a terrible time. Whatever, that's fine too. But like, Two yes I is over here. yeah, I, I I I see it as a very um, beneficial thing. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> here's a there's a controversial one. Controversy. Here we go. This might cause a bit of friction between us. It's okay. It depends on what our answers are. <laughs> Ready? This was a threat. When you two are apart. Do you ever have doubts that the other person isn't loyal? Genuinely, my answer to that is no. I will say, oh. I have no doubts in you. I have no concerns about you. No even thoughts about you. I have been um, observationally aware of, for lack of a better word, vultures circling. <laughs> But I've never been concerned or worried about you. Well, that's so funny. I can say with almost 100% certainty that there have been vultures circling you in this relationship. I've never like really? noticed them. Really? Yeah, have you? Do vultures circle you that you can think of? Have they in the past five years? Probably. In the past five years? Almost certainly yes. they have. Yeah. yeah. But I never, 
But you, you're not aware of them? No. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, I, I just consider myself to be a very intuitive Anxious, and aware person. And, you know, I just Distrustful. Like, I just notice when people, you know, get real close to this pretty face. But I'm not, I'm not worried about anything. I'm, I'm, I'm breezy, you know? Yeah, but, it, but genuinely, it's, 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 never it's been honestly concerned. hard to disentangle people's reactions of you from each other because pretty much mm -hmm. everyone reacts with like 100% positivity towards you. Mm. So what's the difference between a complete stranger who's 100% mm. positively reacting to you with no sexual agenda versus mm. someone who's responding positively to you for the first time with some sort of sexual agenda? Mm. What's the difference between those two things really? When you just attract everyone, you're attractive to everyone. Interesting. Interesting. So therefore, I think the onus of my trust isn't on you. Mm -hmm. Shine. Unperturbed. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, same to you. And the other thing that I think too is that we've like talked about this so much mm -hmm. and like I have the utmost confidence that if there's some sort of vibe, you're going to tell me about it. Absolutely. Same to you. So I, like, I mean, we're so honest with each other. I feel like so honest. The, the first time. You can time, always tell who's honest by by the people who are filming videos on YouTube about how honest they About are. how honest and great the relationship no. is. We have no problems. Absolutely. If anyone ever approached either of us with the vibe, the other one of us would be the first person to hear about it. We're also each other's right. best friends. Yeah, it's usually so like, it's like, oh my God, you wouldn't believe what X said to me today. They were totally giving me the vibe. Like it's, there's no problems. <laughs> Why'd you insist like that? Just, it just really seems like we have so many problems. Yes. We're good. Next question, so we drink. Are you guys in an open relationship? And would you ever be in an open relationship? To answer your first question, no. Yes. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. The second I paused, I knew you were gonna say yes. I'm so predictable. No, we oh, are Oh, you're going to move on to someone younger, <laughs> more exciting. No. Leave me in the dust. No. We are not in an open relationship. It's super we are, closed. We, we are so closed off we to the rest of the world. We have a closed door policy in this relationship. Yes, absolutely. Would we ever be in an open relationship? I think we need to answer this individually. I, I, would, I would say absolutely without question. I have a question. No, no, wait, but can I say why? Yeah. If, for whatever reason, it gets to a point that that's what we have to do, mm. I think we'll do it. Yeah. I think in that perspective, I agree. I would still, however, only be even like without you just looking at this objectively and not like necessarily talking about our relationship i think i would still need to feel like the person in the relationship and okay, I mean, everyone yeah. else is you know whatever purpose they are serving to the open relationship okay i mean i, I appreciate the negotiation for <laughs> no, something this completely this theoretical yeah, no, but like, I'm just if saying, this were thoughts. to happen these are my terms well, those are just no those are just my thoughts on open relationships is that I, like, I am such a relationship person i'm such a monogamist that i don't think i could do an open relationship unless it was under a very specific set of terms be a contracted oh, oh. open relationship uh -huh. ndas everything because <laughs> uh, that's what i will say i don't think i would ever publicly be in an open relationship because that's the thing is like we oh both, girl we, we both can't have... bring a fan into this mess ew no no i'm not saying it would be with a fan but i'm saying like no that's post about it like right right because if we did post about it there would be oh, fans, fans up would in this get mess. in it yeah, yes, yeah yeah which the, i don't I want them exactly that was that just crosses just, a line for people with we are public figures like <laughs> we just we can't that none of that would ever no, be and also public. none of this matters really and yes. it's all i just my thing with this is that it is a, it's a theoretical question yes. about a theoretical relationship that yes. we may or may not find ourselves in. And those types of questions I think are interesting because I think ultimately what it's asking is like, what is the limit to your compromise? And ultimately it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I still just think up against any sort of hypothetical conflict, we win. I think we do too. Yeah, if it came down to like, this is how we got to be together, then absolutely. Okay, this is our last question. Craziest, th craziest thing you did while drunk. Do you have one? Oh, this is not really all that crazy of a thing, but I just remember sitting down afterwards and going, whoa, like I was intoxicated for that. I just, 
did a full rock star rendition of Alanis Morissette's You Ought to Know at a bar. Um, <laughs> And it was a karaoke night. That's important context. It's not like I just, you know, was like, hey, the piano oh man. Oh my God. But like I full <laughs> committed, like I, it wasn't even like Sam singing. I was doing an impression. I don't know that I would have had the audacity for that if I wasn't intoxicated. So that's probably like the craziest thing I did while drunk. Um, there is a segment, and I'm sure it's like on the internet, I'm sure you can find it. I can't believe, oh God, okay. It was during my Heather's times, I was like 21 at the time, and Barrett and I performed 17 from Heather's like on the news, on like the local New York news at like literally five in the morning. Like we were belting this song out like before 7 a.m. <sighs> And the night before, my friends and I had a lot of wine. We were like playing games and like, we like ordered more wine. It was, it was a, it was a lot of wine. And we were up very late and I was like, oh God, like I have to be like in a car driving to the news at like 4.45 and it was like two. And I was like, like I had stopped drinking, but I was like drunk. And so like, you know, the car picks me up and brings me to the news. And I remember thinking like, I'm being so charming. Like everyone is so vibing on me. And of course I was feeling confident. I was drunk still. And I mean, you can look it up. I think the performance went really well. I think that I, I think I looked great. I think I sounded great. I don't think anyone would have known. No. Full, yeah, I was, um, wow. I was drunk for that. Wasn't on purpose, you know, just, just, uh, just, just a happy accident. Who amongst us hasn't been 21 drunk and on the news. We did Well, we did it. We answered your questions. We had some drinks along the way. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video that you haven't gotten out of previous Q and A's and ask me any things that you've seen us do. Hey, gang, daddy community, that's you. Like if, if you subscribe. didn't know. Wait, I have something else to tell oh, them sorry, first. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's I was okay, so it's okay. For, you were so the, excited yeah. for the like and subscribe. You were so, you were just following your routine. I have a question for you guys. Have we you liked and subscribed yet? <laughs> we always are looking for ways to connect with you and give you content that you desire, that you want to see from us. So please, please, please. What do you want from me? Very, be very, very active in the comments down below and let us know what content you want to see us deliver, okay? Okay, we are just here to serve, you know? Woof. And also like and subscribe. And also like and Don't subscribe. Don't forget okay. about that part. Don't. Helps our CTR. Woo! I can't. Like and subscribe.